Okay, here's the question. Let X stand for temperature in degrees Celsius, also known as centigrade, and let Y stand for temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. A temperature of zero degrees Celsius, which is the temperature where water freezes, corresponds to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of water, corresponds to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Find the equation of the line that relates temperature Fahrenheit, Y, to temperature Celsius, X. Graph the line and find the Y and X intercepts. What is the practical, what is the practical meaning of the intercepts? Okay, so there's a good chance we're all pretty aware of uh, this relationship here between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And actually Celsius, C-E-L, S, I U S, my bad. And we know that zero degrees Celsius corresponds to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And we know that 100 degrees Celsius corresponds to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, these are points on a line. If Celsius is X and Fahrenheit is Y, that's our first point. And that's our second point. Two, excuse me. So let's plot these. Zero degrees Celsius corresponds to, so this is X, this is Y, we know that zero degrees Celsius corresponds to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We also know that 100 degrees Celsius corresponds to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see, and this, this is going to be a linear relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Well, the good news is one of these points is already an intercept, this one right here. So the y-intercept, so we want to get this into a form, y equals mx plus b, where y is the Fahrenheit and x is the Celsius. Well, we've already got b because we've got this point right here. b is equal to 32. So, Dunsky. Now all we have to do is find m, the slope, and we remember from previous problems that the slope m is just equal to the change in y over the change in x. And in this case, y2 and y1 are 212 and 32. And x2 and x1 are just 100 and 0. So, just checking my arithmetic here. Ah, oh, yeah, so 212 minus 32 is 180. And 100 minus 0 is just 100. So 180 over 100 is 18 tenths or nine-fifths, or just simply 1.8. So that y is equal to 1.8x plus 32. And maybe you've heard this before. You take the temperature in Celsius, multiply by 1.8, and add 32. So then the question becomes, well, the, the last question we have to answer is, what's this point right here? 
what's the x-intercept. And so that's going to be when y is equal to 0. So let's set this thing equal to 0. So what happens when 1.8x plus 32 is equal to 0? Well, let's solve. We get, uh, if we subtract 32 from both sides, we get 1.8x is equal to minus 32. And then x is equal to minus 32 over 1.8. And what is that? I don't know that off the top of my head. Oh, wow. Is that right? What am I getting? I'm getting something like 17 point negative 17 point eight or something like that. So what is the purpose or practically speaking, uh, what are the, the, the intercepts here? Well, the Y intercept here, this is when Celsius X is equal to zero. That's the freezing point of water. The, the Y, the X intercept, so that's the Y intercept and the X intercept here, um, this is when y equals zero. This is when Fahrenheit equals zero. And the question becomes, well, okay, Celsius is based on water freezing at zero degrees and boiling at 100 degrees. Uh, is there a similar basis for Fahrenheit? And the answer is yes. Fahrenheit is, is calculated, is graded the same way, in a similar fashion to Celsius, except instead of water, as I recall, uh, Fahrenheit is based on some alcohol-based compound. So and this compound freezes at zero degrees Fahrenheit and boils at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And these two scales are two different ways of measuring, or, or two different measures of temperature. And they are related linearly, as we've just found.